What's going on YouTube? MK, I'm still stacking here. Back with you for another video. I wanted to um, I, uh, I wanted to do a quick video here on neodymium magnets, aka rare earth magnets. Um, this this topic is really it's it's uh, you know been out there throughout the, uh, the silver community, you know, pretty strong over the last couple of years. But every once in a while, that you know the, the topic you know pops up again and then it sort of goes away and then it comes back and um, it uh, really has uh, surfaced again in the last uh, couple days um, uh, I want to give shouts out to both Big Stack McGee and Butter Tooth Punk uh, Big Stack McGee he just uh, uploaded a video today on how to extract neodymium magnets from uh, computer hard drives and he does a really good job it was a great video Big Stack thank you um, and he also gives, Big Stack gives uh, props to uh, About AG, who was a guy, I think it was a year or two ago, who also did a really good test of neodymium magnets on Engelhardt bars, on some like, I think they were like 1,000 ounce Engelhardt bars. And that's a really good video too, so if you guys can find that one, go check that one out. But then also in the last 24 hours, you guys saw my last unboxing video, my triple unboxing video, I unboxed two OPM 10 ounce bars. And Buttertooth Punk um, raised the a good question. He said he, he had a you know, relative or something or a friend who recently bought some OPM bars that he applied the rare earth magnet test to, and uh, but to uh, but but came up with failed results. So um, that's unfortunate for him. I, I feel bad. Um, and so Buttertooth Punk was wondering, well, why don't I? You know, uh, he asked me if I would apply the magnet the rare earth magnet test to my newly acquired OPM bars that you guys saw uh, last night if you checked out my video. So I said, sure, yeah, why not? I, in fact, I, I'm, I'm, I, I regularly apply the magnet test to all of my, uh, most of my silver acquisitions. So, so let's do that right now. Uh, um, so I thought I'd do that right now, not only with the OPM bars, but with much of the silver I did acquire yesterday. Now, what you have, uh, just a couple pointers here on applying the rare earth magnet test. First, you gotta have a rare earth magnet. I didn't extract these from a hard drive. I just got them off eBay for a few bucks. You know, unfortunately, uh, uh, these aren't that cheap in America. So off eBay, you can get them from China, from pretty cheap. And they, they're, they're, you can get them in high volume. You can get them in all sizes. These were probably just a few bucks. This is about 20 magnets, but they're tiny ones. So and you can just see how strong these things are. It's hard to pry just a few apart um, from the rest of the stack. And once you pry them apart, you got to separate them by a good foot or so to keep them from snapping back together. Because I'll show you this real quick. If I just bring the stack back over in the camera view, how quickly these things snap back together. That's how strong they are. But let's get into the test. I'll just pry just about, oh, about three apart from the rest of the stack and put those off to the side. Another thing, another big tip with neodymium magnets, a.k.a. rare earth magnets, or as uh, Brian, De the Brian the Log likes to call them, I think he calls them super strong magnets or whatever, super magnets, is that you don't want to get them near electronic devices, particularly ones that have memory, like cell phones or tablets or anything like that, because they're designed to, that's what they're for, is to erase data from hard drive-like substances so or materials. So you don't want to be putting this near your cell phone or your tablet or anything like that, because you might just wind up not having any data on your on your on your um, left in your storage or memory on that device so anyways let's get into it uh, the OPM bar now the key here is when you have something sealed in plastic is you want to hold the plastic really taut against the bar um, so that uh, so that uh, you know the back magnet can really touch up against the metal and another thing is uh, keep, you know, you want to plot whatever substance, whatever silver you're applying it to, you want to hold it at a 45 degree angle. So anyways, here we go. And all you're really looking for is just a slow slide. So there you go. That's one of the OPM bars, a slow slide. So that's all, all you're really looking for, just a slow slide, a slide that would be slower than gravity would have it slide otherwise. And that's all you're looking for. So we'll put that one off to the side. Here's the gold analytics bar I acquired from Marnock recently. This one's bare, so it should work really well. And again, so all you're looking for is a slow slide. Now, and if anybody doubts that if I were doing this to an, an object other than silver, oops, lost my lost my magnet there. Bring it back. Um, if anyone doubts that this would uh, 
not be the case if I were applying it to a non-silver-like substance. I'll show you in a minute that definitely wouldn't be the case. There you go again. Slow slide. So, and this works on 999 fine silver, and it also works on 90%, I found. But the key is you got to have a silver that has a flat enough and large enough substance so that your magnet gets a good time to really slide a across it. There you go. That's uh, that's the Engelhart bar I, I acquired recently. So, slow slide, and I'm not, and this is, I'm probably not even holding it at a 45 degree angle. So these are probably, you know, um, yeah. So I'm probably being conservative here by by holding these up even more than 45 degrees. Let's, this is more like 50, 55, 60 degrees. You can see it's still, still, it's still a slow slide. Here's the uh, the ATB coin, one of the ATB coins I bought. Same thing, slow slide. So, really, it's it's not rocket science. It's just, uh, and this is just a calculator, the plastic piece of a calculator, the back of a calculator, not the calculator itself, of course, because that's an electronic device. You'll see how fast this slides. So, you know, and that's just got stuck because it has a groove on there. So, turn it over, go the other way. So you just see, it's like there's an incredible difference between any non-silver substance and silver. So that's about it, guys. Uh, you know, let me let me uh, let me know what you guys think. This is my main way of testing the purity or the auth uh, authenticity of the silver um, that I buy. I don't use pretty much. I don't use any other method. I don't use an acid test, or I I, rarely, I don't even use the ping test that much. Um, but, I, but all that, although I know if you know what you're listening for, it's legit. So, but yeah, so this is what I use to, to, to get comfortable that the silver I'm buying is, is legit. And so, uh, that's all I got. Thanks for, uh, thanks to Big Stack McGee and Butter Tooth Punk for bringing this subject, uh, to the forefront again. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, uh, MKM, still stacking, over and out. Take care guys. Bye.